Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. So we're doing something different today, which is we're going to go back and revisit an episode of Mythbusters Rainbow Six Siege because Lion is getting reworked and it's a complete overhaul of how his ability works. So of course, when he was actually released, he was very, very powerful and uh, since then he's got nerfed and I would say right now he's probably not very good. But this whole rework is to take away the problem that arised from that global ability that he had and now we have a potentially what could be competitive ability, which is hopefully not going to be an issue going forward. Now, of course, I just want to mention this is all test server based tests. So, of course, any of this could change for the live build. And I do expect there will be changes going forward. So let's jump back in time to the old Mythbuster episode. And the very first myth here is going to be the Mute Jammer with the Lion's Drone. This is interesting because some of this has stayed with the rework but some of it's also changed, and I'm kind of surprised about some of the changes here. So back then, this episode was pretty short because there really wasn't much to test with both Finca and Lion because they were quite basic. Like their global abilities were interesting, but they, because of that global ability, they didn't really interact or get countered much by the operators. So here's the reworked version. Now, the way it used to work is the Mute Jammer was a hard counter for Lion. So being in the radius of a Mute Jammer would stop the red outline, but also moving through the Mute Jammers would also stop it, whereas that is no longer the case. So this is interesting because if you're in the Mute Jammer radius, it will indeed block the Lion scan, just like it did before. So a great example here, moving around in the Mute Jammers, not being detected. However, if you're detected before you move into the Mute Jammer radius, the ping continues, which is surprising. I would have really expected that to stop, but it doesn't. It continues to ping you when you're in the Mute Jammer if you were detected outside. So that's an interesting change, and I do wonder if it's deliberate. There was no mention of this in the patch notes, um, so I'm curious if this is a deliberate thing because it seems like it should stop it when you go in but maybe it is deliberate. So certainly for the moment, Mute Jammers do counter it, that is definitely confirmed, but also we have to add, add an additional kind of amendment here, whereas when it comes to going into a Mute Jammer already detected, that is now busted. So we have some interesting changes there. Now taking a jump back in time yet again, we had Vigil versus Lion. And back then, Vigil's gadget did not counter line scan. Now this made sense because the lion drone seems to use some sort of vibration or sound in order to detect people. So having a gadget which is all about changing camera kind of feeds doesn't, you know, it doesn't work for this gadget. Whereas they've changed that and now he is a direct counter to lion, which is definitely an interesting choice. It obviously must be a balancing choice rather than it being lower based. And this makes Vigil extraordinarily strong whenever it comes to a team who is now gonna be running a line in the future with this rework because of course he can move around undetected and you might think, oh, you're safe, but no, Vigil is coming up behind you and you know that could be of course deadly. However, I need to point out that Vigil's ability is the same as Mute Jammer's. If you activate the ability too late, you will continue to be detected even though your ability is active. And I'll also do a quick mention that Cav's ability still does not counter line. So in the original it didn't, and now in the rework it doesn't as well, which makes sense because she's basically crouching, so it shouldn't really interfere with this drone, however it is detecting people. Now there are things that are actually unchanged between the rework and the original, and that is this one where you can actually drop down hatches without being detected. Now, of course, this is a very niche thing. It's really, you're probably never going to use it, but the fact you can move without being detected, even if it's just dropping vertically, is somewhat useful in some circumstances. So that is still confirmed. Now we're going to finish on a tiny little detail, and it's the reason I love doing these episodes. It's when I find something that I assumed was going to be the opposite of what it ends up being, and I'm surprised by it, even if it's the tiniest thing. And this one is one of those things. So back when we did the original episode for this, we could see that when the scan went off and it detected a player, it didn't ID the player, which was quite interesting because you know it created full outlines of operators. So it probably you know the drone probably could in theory figure out who the people were that it was scanning based on their shape. Whereas the new one, which is only ping based, actually IDs operators. So this to me is weird. Like I didn't expect this. And I think this is probably something they should tweak 
because it doesn't really make much sense and it's you know i don't think it's going to change any balancing but uh, i was really surprised and that was just something i went and assuming was going to be a different way and it ended up being the opposite so there we go guys just like the very first line mythbusters it's pretty light on content because there just isn't really that much about these global abilities to test because they're so global what actually makes them much less deep and as a result they're just isn't usually much of an interesting kind of aspect to them but i hope you enjoyed this little relook at lion with his upcoming rework and of course this is all test server based so like i say it may all change who knows what will actually make it to the live servers and uh, there may be tweaks here and there i'll of course try and keep you up to date with all the changes as we go forward anyway guys thanks for watching and i will catch you next time